Welcome to Other Levels. Today, you will learn how to create this financial analysis of projects dashboard using Microsoft Excel. Which contains several analytics. The total number of projects and the total value, as built amounts, submitted invoices, and the final saving. The amounts and percentages for the gap 1, budget versus scope of work amount, gap 2, scope of work versus work order amount, gap 3, method of procedure versus as built cost, and gap 4, as built cost versus the submitted invoices. The preliminary acceptance test percentage, and analysis for project status. Projects value by departments, monthly invoicing target versus actual. Dynamic RFP milestone analysis showing projects details for each RFP stage. And this data table which shows each project details. These are the color codes used in the design and the font type as Arial. All our dashboard's template features are working in all versions of Excel. Join our channel membership, and enjoy the full video tutorial. This is the database which it contains project details namely year, department, project name, PO number, sector details, status, and the budget. Additionally, gaps between different main values like project's budget, scope of work, work order created, MOP submitted, as built value and invoiced amounts. Also, it includes monthly invoicing target versus actual amounts. It's time to insert pivot tables for analysis. Select the database and insert pivot table in a new sheet. Now, we will insert PO number in the values field to derive the number of projects. Change the pivot table design, making it more presentable. To save your time, as you can see, we have formatted the pivot table cells before. Let's copy the previous pivot table to calculate the total project value. We will format the value to whole number without decimals. Now, follow the same process and get as built values, total invoiced values and savings amount. Let's select all the pivot values and format its font type and size. We will now get the saving percentage by calculating percentage of saving amount from total project values. Also, we will calculate budget after savings by reducing saving amount from total project value. Next. We'll calculate PAT for percentage bar chart by calculating percentage of as built amount from budget after saving amount. Also, we need to calculate remaining percent by reducing PAT from 100. Let's start creating the dashboard. Add a new sheet then rename it. We don't want the grid lines. Then, insert a text box to give reference of the total number of projects from the pivot table sheet.
Now, instead of inserting a new text box, we can copy the previous text box for convenience, and repeat the previous step to display the other main project's values. Now, let's insert bar chart from the PAT table. Resize the chart then move it to dashboard. Now add the budget after saving amount. Let's repeat this process for PAT percent. The modifications are easy and self-explanatory. We will let you enjoy the video. If you need any clarification, please write it in the comments below.
That's all for today's video. Hope you learned something useful for you. On the other hand, you have an easy way to directly purchase this template from our website other-levels.com. Thank you, and see you in the next video.